Hi, fifth grade. Uh, today we're going to go over March Steps. It's a new piece of music that I put on Google Classroom. Uh, let me check. Let me pull this so that I can have a little bit more light. That didn't really work. It's a little dreary outside. Uh, anyway, March Steps is a new piece that I put on Google Classroom. Go ahead and pull it up for your instrument. And what we're going to do is kind of like last week, I'm going to teach the lesson and then I'm going to switch the video to your instrument. So. Uh, you don't have to do anything, just follow along, and um, before you play it with me, make sure you warm up, make sure you go over all the stuff we've gone over in the past, you know, review that stuff, but then we'll dive into this tune. Uh, so the thing about March Steps, the hardest part is the, uh, well one, you don't know it, you don't recognize it, it's not like a nursery rhyme, it's not, you know, Mary Had a Little Lamb that we played last week, it is just totally original music that you've never heard before, um, so you'll have to know it. You'll have to be able to read the music to be able to play it, but we'll, I'll teach you that. It's no big deal. Uh, the other hard part is that we're skipping notes now. Uh, in the past, your notes would go in order, right? You'd go low to high, and there's no skipping notes in between. The thing about March Steps is that they want you to skip notes. They want you to go from low straight to the high note, dum da, dum. You want to skip the notes, and that's hard uh, for a beginner player so we're gonna work on that when we get to your instrument part but don't worry about that right now right now we just want to look at the rhythm and uh, what the song is right so fill in your notes first of all fill write in your notes that would really help you in the future um, but uh, let's talk about the rhythm it's really simple uh, we just have to go over it the first measure we've got four quarter notes and you can also see that your first question is how many beats are in a quarter note your quarter note has one beat. We know that. Okay, it's got one beat in it. There's four quarter notes in a measure, because uh, you can see that in four four, in the time signature, at the front. Um, so there's four beats in a quarter note. There's four or there's four quarter notes in a measure. There's one beat in a quarter note. That means there's four beats in this first measure that are played. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Or if you're following the music, it's going to be one, two, three, four. We'll go over that when we get to it. Um, and then the second measure is a whole note. Your second question, you'll see, is how many beats are in a whole note. There's four beats in a whole note. Okay, you can see that the whole note takes up the entire measure. There's four whole beats and there's nothing else. So you have to count that for four beats. One, two, three, four. Okay, you hold that note out. So those first two measures together are one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, you hold it out. And we'll get to that more when we play it. Um, and the, the third and fourth measure are the same exact rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The fifth and sixth measure is the same thing. One, two, three, four. Ah, they're not. Sorry. The sixth measure is different. Okay, we've got quarter, quarter, half note. Okay, I didn't, I didn't put this as a question, but a half note is two beats. Okay, so it's going to be one plus one plus two equals four. So that's six measure. One, two, three, right? It's just kind of like, uh, what's the song? Hot Cross Buns, right? Da, da, da. That's what we're looking at. And then your fifth or your seventh and eighth measure are going to be nearly the same. One, two, three, four. And then your last measure is weird. You have a half note, a quarter note, and then a rest. Half note, quarter, rest. So one, two, three, rest. Okay, so the whole thing, you can slow me down if you need help on this, but the whole thing, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, let's try that again. All right, you can follow along, clap along with me. I'll take it a little slower this time. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Okay, there's your rhythm. There's one other thing we have to look at here for all of us, and it's this little comma on measures uh, between measures two and three, 
five and six and seven and eight, that little comma is a breath mark. That means that you are going to breathe. Okay, that's the best place in these songs to breathe, and it's really nice that it tells you because otherwise you'd be breathing all over the place. So make sure you take a big breath there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Big breath. Fill up your whole body with air so that you can have uh, enough air to get through the song. Okay. And uh, we'll go over that song a little bit more in your specific instrument. But that's all there is to it. Okay. Just get the rhythm. Write your notes in. Uh, and you really want to clap along with me. Okay. Read along with the music and clap along with me in this video if you're not getting it. But before you move to the music part, I want you to have the rhythm perfect. Because you won't be able to play the music with notes if you can't do the rhythm. Okay, so don't move on until the rhythm is perfect. Uh, I'm gonna move on to your specific instrument now. All right guys, let's jump in. Trombone, march steps. I'm just gonna play it for you. And then we will go more in depth. Here we go, march steps. game here is switching notes. Before we go in, I'm going to go over every single note that we play in this song. There's five notes, the five we've already learned, but let's uh, play them back to back and let's just get our feet wet here. B flat. First position all the way in, low. Let your lips flap. Here we go. B flat. One, two, match me, go. Okay, if you're jumping it, or if you're going too low, um, fix it, right? <laughs> you want to go a little bit, match that tone. Okay, next one is C. I'm going to play it in first position, but you have to play it in sixth. You can't do first. Uh, I just don't have enough room in here to go all the way to sixth position in my office. So, first position, you're in sixth all the way out as comfortably as you can go. Match me. One, two, C, go. Make sure you match that pitch. One, two, C, again. D is in fourth position. That's just a little bit past the bell. See where my hand is? It's not all the way out here. It's not in, just a little bit past. Here's D. One, two, D, go. D, one, two, ready, go. Okay, moving on. E flat, third position, right at the bell. You should be able to reach up and touch it pretty easily. We're not all the way out here. We're not all the way in here. Should be right, uh, straight line from your finger. One, two, E flat, go. flat and then F all the way in first position here's F one two F go you're blowing faster air to get from the B flat to the F so blow really hard okay so you go the faster you blow the higher your note will be right so we want to reach the F okay so the name of the game like I said is switching notes but the trombone, one thing that we have to learn is that we have to move this arm really fast. Okay? If we're not moving our arm fast enough, our song is going to sound weird. Okay, we want to switch real quick. So if you can't move it quickly, practice that. Learn where your, where your slide positions are and move to them quickly. If it's a little sluggish, you need oil. And I'll help you out in class if you don't have any oil to put on but march steps the first two measures we've got B flat to D B flat D C so it's gonna be first four first four six bonk 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 okay let's practice that slowly one two 
Okay, make sure that you are saying the word ta in between each note to separate your notes. Ta, 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 ta. Practice that. Uh, but that's your first measure. B flat, D, B flat, D, C. Your next uh, two measures, measures three and four, E flat, D, E flat, or rather, <laughs> E flat, D, C, E flat, D. So three, four, six, three, four. Okay, let's play that slowly. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> sure as you're going down that you're not dropping too low. We don't want our C to be too low. We don't want that. That's what we want. Fast air to get the middle range of the instrument. Um, measures 5 and 6, we're switching from D to F. So 4, 1, 4, 1, 3, 4, 6. Okay? So I'm going to play that slowly. One, two. Starting at D, go. And then your last two measures, we're starting at the top and going all the way down. F, E, D, C, B flat. So one, three, four, six, one. Here we go. Let's practice that. that last little beat it's on beat three one two three okay but that's your tune we're gonna go slow we're gonna play through the whole thing slowly try to play along if you can't practice and practice and practice until you can and then once you can play it slowly we'll start speeding it up and i'm gonna play it twice first slow second time at the tempo i'd like it to be at so let's hear um slow march steps follow me one two ready go tempo we want to end up at. This is our goal. One, two, here we go. Play it fast. And okay, that's the tune. If you have any questions, let me know, but you can pause rewind my video, watch it again um, to get all the help that you might need. Um, but the, the best thing you can do is uh, rather than watching the video, rather than even showing up to class, practice. The more you practice, the better you will get, I promise. Uh, there is nothing about practicing that will make you a worse player. Okay? Don't be afraid to practice. Don't get nervous. Just play through it. Uh, do what you can. The more you practice, the better you'll be. And if you practice, you have questions to ask me when you come back and then I can answer it, and we can get better all together, right? Practice, practice, practice. Uh, I Hopefully I will see you this week, but if I don't, please continue to watch out for my videos and uh, go to the backlog, watch some old videos, and see what you can do. But um, otherwise, I'll see you later. Have a good week. Goodbye.